Hello traders, welcome to Invest2.com's Fibonacci series. In this lesson, we are going to define what Fibonacci retracement levels are. There are two types of Fibonacci levels, Fibonacci retracement levels and Fibonacci expansion levels. But in this lesson, we're going to go through Fibonacci retracement levels. So to do, to do that, we're going to go to the charts and uh, we're going to look at the Euro for, Euro US dollar for our chart. Okay, now uh, on the MT4, you can find the Fibonacci levels under this button right here, the F, with uh, the levels drawn on it. When you click on it, you have to go and click on the chart and you're going to drag those levels down. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to use the default levels for this lesson. But first of all, I'm going to teach you how to draw them correctly. Now, when you are trying to draw a Fibonacci retracement level on a down move, you are going to go from the high of the move to the low of the move. Why? Because the Fibonacci retracement levels are going to be calculating the retracement of the entire move. This means that from this move down, the levels that are going to appear on your chart are the retracements of this move up. Okay, how much this move up has retraced of the entire move down. Now, uh, if we go back again, I'm going to draw the Fibonacci retracement levels right now. So you pick the, uh, uh, well, the Fibonacci tool and you go from the high to the move to the low of the move. Okay, and that is how you draw the Fibonacci's on a down move. And why do we want to draw Fibonacci levels? Well, that's easy because Fibonacci levels are going to be levels of uh, high volume. This means that there are going to be a lot of traders looking at the at, at these Fibonacci levels. The reason is that some uh, traders think that Fibonacci levels are a self-fulfilled prophecy. This means that they are always going to work. And that's actually not true. What really works on, uh, with uh, when using Fibonacci is a price structure. So when you are using Fibonacci, always use price structure. This means that, for example, right here we have a heavy area of resistance, and you draw the 60, uh, the, the 50, I'm um, sorry, the Fibonacci levels, and you see that price has hit the 61.8. When price hits the 61.8, you are going to look for a uh, continuation of the down move and in this case is the break of this wedge so basically fibonacci retracement levels are a good tool to add to your system or to your actual trading system now which fibonacci levels are the most important well actually that is a very good question because when we use fibonacci levels the most important are the 50 the 61 8 and the 76 4 that and the 76.4 is actually not on uh, your default Fibonacci level, so you have to add it. You have to put on the level 0 0.764 because it's a 76.4% of the 100% move, and the description is simply the 76.4. And when you add it, you are going to have drawn the Fibonacci level on your chart. Now, I'm going to demonstrate, not demonstrate, but I'm going to show you that not only Fibonacci levels work on a high scale, but also on a, on, a, on a lower scale. I'm not going to go down on time frames. I am simply going to go uh, looking for retracement on short term moves. And if we go from this high to this low, you can see that the 61.8 was rejected and then we moved lower. All right. If we go from uh, this high to this low, I think that is going to be the 60 or the 76.4 that is going to be rejected. If we go from this high to this low, we might be looking at a 28.2, but we are looking at twice the 38.2. I'm sorry, the 38.2. At twice the 38.2 before we move lower. And if we go from uh, this high to this low, you can see that it's the 76.4 retracement that is rejected. So basically, uh, Fibonacci retracement levels are going to help you in your technical analysis by um, 
adding them as an extra confirmation of a uh, inflection zone where price might reverse and continue with the overall move. 